Hi, I'm Bob. And I'm Janet. And we're talking to you today about the Math Acceleration Project throughout the Riverside Community College District. This is about how you can accelerate through math. That's right, math. In this video, we'll be explaining the change. We'll explain the ch Hey! Let's just watch. Good idea. So here's the good news. Due to recent changes in math placement, you are now eligible to take a transfer level math class beginning fall 2019. Math. This means you can get a new math placement right now to see which fall 2019 transfer level math class is right for you. Oh, math. And here's the best part. No exam is required. That's right. For this new placement, simply answer a few questions about your high school background. Your high school GPA, the highest math class taken, and the grade you got in that class. Oh, and your college major. That's right. So, why are we doing this? I finally passed my Math 35. Now I'm going to take statistics. Well, I finally passed Math 35, and now I'm going to take a nap. That's right. Too many students have taken too long to advance to a college-level course, such as statistics. And we want to change that. Once you have completed the new placement process, see a college counselor or ed advisor to assist you in making the best decision for your major and college goals. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Bob. Hi, Janet. Anna, please tell the students how this works. Sure, I'd be happy to. We can go over your new placement options. I'll help you make the best decisions about math for your major. And what might that best decision be? There are three math pathways. Yes, the first one is for liberal arts majors. This includes Administration of Justice, Anthropology, Art, Early Childhood Education, English, Foreign Languages, Geography, History, Humanities, Music, Philosophy, and many more. The second one is for STEM. STEM majors include... Architecture, Biology, Chemistry, Computer Science, Electronics, Engineering, Mathematics, Physics, and many more. The third pathway is for business. Business majors include... Accounting, Business, Economics, Management, Marketing, and many more. Even though there are three math pathways, there are two math placements associated with them. Let's look at the placement for liberal arts. Liberal arts majors often take statistics or liberal arts math. So, liberal arts students get a S-L-A-M SLAM placement. Most STEM and business majors take calculus. Together they form the B-S-T-E-M B-STEM placement. Important note. Every student will receive both a SLAM placement and a B-STEM placement. Which option is best for you? It depends on your major. Where would you like to go next in the video? Do you want to learn more about the SLAM options, the business options, or the STEM options? Please click one. Let's look at math courses for liberal arts majors. These courses are part of a SLAM placement. Math 12, Statistics. Math 25, Survey of Math. Math 26, Elementary Teacher Prep. And Math 11, College Algebra. Note, not all of these courses are offered at each college. Let's make this a little neater. What's going on? Math, what are you doing there? Get out of here. My goodness. Now, where were we? Math for liberal arts majors. Oh, right, right. So, most liberal arts students will take one of these four courses. What if I want to take trig or business calc, but my algebra isn't strong enough? Great question. Let's take a look. Here are two important things to know. One, both trigonometry and business calculus are B-STEM courses and have a prerequisite of intermediate algebra, Math 35. And two, every student will receive both a SLAM placement and a B-STEM placement. This means, in addition to your SLAM placement, your B-STEM placement might be Math 35. 
Let's get some help from Anna. Hey, Anna. Hey, Bob and Janet. Please tell us what that means. Sure, for example, if you're a liberal arts student, you're going to your Math 12 and Math 25 placement. You will also get a STEM or business placement, which might be Math 35, just in case it's needed. Thanks, Anna. You're welcome. Where would you like to go next in this video? Do you want to learn more about the STEM option, the business option, or continue with the video? Let's look at math courses for business majors. For business, we have Math 5, Business Calculus. Some four-year colleges might also require Math 12, Statistics, or Math 11, College Algebra. Notice that Math 5 and Math 11 have a prerequisite of Math 35, Intermediate Algebra. But with your new placement, you might already be eligible to take Math 5, Math 11, and Math 12. Be sure to see a college counselor or ed advisor to see which course is best for you. Where would you like to go next in this video? Do you want to learn more about the STEM option, the SLAM option, or continue with the video? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Uh oh! Look out! Math, you goof. Classes in STEM include trigonometry, pre-calculus, and several levels of calculus. For an accelerated pathway to calculus, we created Math 23. Math 23 is a six-unit course combining trigonometry and pre-calculus. For the first year, Math 23 will be offered only at Riverside. Ha! Yes, Math 23 is the fastest way to accelerate to calculus. Where would you like to go next in this video? Do you want to learn more about the business option, the SLAM option, or continue with the video? Throughout this video, we have introduced three different math options, depending on your major. Would you like to review the business option, the SLAM option, the STEM option, or continue with this video? Math 35, Intermediate Algebra, is a course that spans all three math options. Math 35 is a prerequisite for each of these courses. In STEM, Math 36 and Math 23. In Liberal Arts, Math 26 and Math 11. And Business, Math 5. Many students will actually bypass Math 35 through their new placement. Starting Fall 2019, we will be offering support courses for four of our entry-level transfer courses. For business, we'll have Math 105. We also have support courses for Math 12 and Math 25. And in STEM, we have Math 136. Each support course is two units and will meet about two hours each week. Janet, what does concurrent mean? Concurrent means at the same time in the same semester. Let's take a look. Here is how a class and its concurrent support might look in the schedule of classes. This Math 112 class is linked to a specific Math 12. A student signing up for one of these must sign up for both. In this example, both courses are taught by the same instructor in the same classroom. And Math 12 starts right after Math 112. What about our other support courses? We will continue to offer the following general preparation courses. Math 42, Algebra for Statistics and Liberal Arts at Norco. Math 52, Elementary Algebra at Riverside and Moreno Valley. Math 53, Geometry, offered at Moreno Valley. And Math 37, Pre-Statistics at Riverside. Note. Students will not receive a placement into any of these preparation courses. To self-place into one of these support courses, you should consider visiting your college counselor or ed advisor. Anna. Janet. 
So students are allowed to take these other support courses, but they're not transfer level, are they? That's right. All these preparation courses are below transfer level math. None of them will transfer to a four-year college or university. You may place yourself into one of these courses and you're welcome to come see us for guidance. Got it, thanks. You're welcome. Here's a chart of all of our math courses starting fall 2019. Right away, we see the four general preparation math courses we were just talking about. And we'll also have our transfer level courses in liberal arts, business calculus, and our array of STEM courses. We'll also have Math 35. And our four concurrent support courses, Math 112, 125, 105, and 136. Oh, hi, Math. Wait, wait, wait. Come back here. Look around. This is you. Yes, you may go now. We are committed to making this transition as smooth and supportive as possible. It's all about you and your achievement. To learn more about this new placement process, please look for the announcement on WebAdvisor. Hey, Math! You've worked hard today. Yeah, I'll bet you're tired. You deserve a rest. I'll catch up with you later. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you see the exciting changes that are happening in math. Please return to WebAdvisor to find out more about these important changes happening in math.